Hello, everybody. I am Zombie Cleo. This is Fallout 4. We are here on the strip outside Gamara. Don't worry, we'll fully explore all of these places. But I, as I'm coming down here, I do happen to notice this lady. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Why Miss Emily Ortel, whose name I know because it's just over there? Yes, I am. Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse... Well, some of us, anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology. How he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. And this is where I come in. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help. Many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. All right, I'm on it. Really? Oh, I wasn't expecting you to agree so easily. I don't easily. have the appropriate great. barter skill, to be honest. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Okay, let's go bug an access point. Hey, Victor, I'm just gonna... Oh, I should probably start running. I'm just gonna bug an access point for Mr. House. I said that right in front of you. It's fine. I do love the fact that we've now got this, like, instead of a policeman, we've now got the, uh, the, the military guy on there. That's pretty cool. I quite like that. Okay, uh, the point you want is just up the stairs, I think. Or maybe I'm lost. Oh, that would be new. No, it's definitely over here. Okay, and it's a locked hard terminal. And I don't actually think I've got the skill required for hard locked things. But apparently I can do it anyway. Right, so that's 55 XP, and uh, we're going to go now tell Mr. House that we've done it, because, because we can. Hey, Housey baby, I should let you know that I planted a surveillance device on one of your data terminals. Yes, I know. It was detected immediately and deactivated, let's see, 39.735 seconds after you planted it. You thought I wouldn't notice? Well, I didn't care. I, I was I was telling you, it's fine. It doesn't care at all. <laughs> and of course, um Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? Ah, I well polled. Funny you should ask. Um yeah, I bugged the tower for you. It looks like we've started getting reports from the tower's network. I'm sure the others will be able to make some sense of this. Oh, what the hell? The bug went offline. Damn it! I swear to God, that old man has thought of everything. Pretty much, yeah. Well, it looks like this was all for nothing. But you did your best. I appreciate the help. Far accepted on the strip. Fastest XP gain ever. Now, what do I want? Um, where's lockpick? I can get that with the locksmith's reader. Uh, let's get science up to 60. And then, I'm really, I should get, be getting repair up a bit. So now I've got five skill points, so guns. And I'm going to start getting energy weapons up as well. And, I mean, not much. I just, I to be honest, I like round numbers of five. It's fine. Um, Got five more points to spend. Uh, you can go up to 45, and Sneak can get an extra three points, so that's fine. Oh, and it's a, oh, it's a perk round. What are the level 16 perks? Um, weapon handling. Weapon requirements are now two points lower than normal view. Um, my strength's not that bad, but it should be okay. Tag is a nice one for getting a perk up immediately. Uh, better criticals. Um, fifty percent bonus time and time every time a critical hit is scored by an opponent. It's not that useful to me because whilst I like to be stealthy, sneaky, I can't shoot. I mean, I can shoot, and I probably I probably do quite well. But yeah, that's like sneak attack criticals. Action girl, additional fifteen points. Okay, and that's all the other ones. Um, hmm. Has anyone? I don't remember having purifier, but okay. Um, I'll have a look around and then I'll let you know what I choose. Right, so here's the thing. 
I never get the fun perks. I I don't I don't normally just go for things that are like, you know, I like, like I do I go for Mr. Sandman. Mr. Sandman's good. Um they have bonus XP. I'd forgotten about that. Um but I never go for things like Mysterious Stranger, Misfortune. Um I, I just go for like <laughs> just go for like like the general like oh this is gonna make me better but no sod it you know what's gonna happen um misfortune snatch defeat from the jaws of victory um and the mysterious stranger in vats um you know what i'm going for mysterious stranger i never take mysterious stranger ever and um screw it we're doing it okay so now, I am actually off to the followers, um, the followers in the fort, and I will meet you over there. Okay, right, this is the, uh, the, the old Mormon fort. Um, I mean, I'm assuming it's a thing in real life, but I don't, I genuinely don't know. Um, we're actually looking for you. This is Judy Farkas. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Uh, you need medical supplies? Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. Well, what do you need? Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. It seems like you need a steady supply, not just whatever I can grab for you. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. What merchants might be willing to make a deal? You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrets, though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. You got yourself a deal. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. Well, let's talk about something else talk anyway, because there are two quests that I need from you. Um, things seem pretty rough here in Freeside. More than rough. It's a damn mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Freeside is in dire need, but no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. Is there anything I can do to help? There is always something needing done. A few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community, if they'd kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly, tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will get hurt if things blow up. Uh, you said something about, uh, helping addicts. Yes, old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. So tell me about Bill Ronte? Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump, if he sobered up. And Jacob? The Garrets hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural chemist. Okay, I'll see what I can do so to help bring them. them up and putting them back to work would go a long way toward helping Freeside. Okay, um, talk about something else, and I want to talk about going away. Bye. Okay, so let's go help some drug addicts first, and then we'll Hello. talk to the Garrets. All right, so the first guy is outside Mick and Ralph's. Um, well, I say outside. He's in the abandoned ruins because, of course, why wouldn't he? So, Jacob. You have chems, buddy? I could really use a fix. Well, Judy Farker says you could, uh, you could use some help. Julie's a saint, but I don't need help. <clears throat> I feel young and strong, as long as I get my chems. Yeah, do you look pretty bad, Jacob. You should probably... I mean, they're not good for you. Why stop? I feel great. No worries. My guy will be here soon enough. Just wait. And who's your guy? I know who your guy is. If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. My damn hands won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. Something about him seems sketchy, but I can't stop now. Last time I stopped, I felt like I was gonna turn inside out. At this point, I'm mostly buying his stuff just so I don't feel sick. Speaking of which, do you have any spare caps? Bye. Bye. Right, so, Drake of Hoff. And Dixon is uh, the drug dealer um, in question. And Dixon is always hanging around outside Mick and Ralph's. 
Funny enough, uh, that. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. Um, do you know anything about Bill or Jacob? Yeah, man. Those cats are out of their domes, addicted to my shit. They can't get enough. Pretty hilarious to watch. Mm, are you trying to kill your customers? Those fools are from NCR. I love seeing those squatters in agony. We were doing just fine before those shits came here and made a mess of things. We don't need NCR eggheads wandering around confusing things. I'm gonna need you to stop supplying Bill and Jacob. Really? Ah, oh, you're such a saint. You know what? I might be willing to stop if there's something in it for me. So there's caps, but I like my caps. And also, this gets me experience. So speech of 35. So the NCR is supplying you with cheap cans to keep Freeside down. Wait, man. You can't go around saying shit like that. Okay, I get your point. You won't have to worry about me supplying those two anymore. Excellent. Till Toodles. next time. Okay, so that's Dixon taken care of. I still think he'll actually sell me drugs if I really wanted them. It's okay if I get addicted to this shit, just not these guys. So, Jacob. So you're back. Got any chems for me yet? Yeah, I took care of that dealer. Now you can clean up. What? I need a fix now. I want to help you get well, Jacob, and the best way of doing that is apparently cutting you off cold turkey, because that doesn't have any problems associated with it whatsoever. Fine. If you really care so much, then give me some shots of Fixer to calm down these shakes. I'm going to need at least ten shots to get me through the week. From there, the followers should be able to help. Um, well, I could I could give you some Fixer, Psycho, and Buff out to do it in one shot, but those are my drugs. However... You can be strong. You just need your friends to get through this. I think you're right. I've been through worse. I'll go to the fort and see if the followers can watch over me while I recover. Which is actually medical help, which is probably would be... Holy crap, dude! You would... What's wrong with your... Dude, that's so much jets. That's so much jets. Wow. I've got more respect for you now. And the other guy is just opposite the Silver Rush. Hello, Billy. Come on, man. I'm dying here. You're, you're an alcoholic, dude. Um, and you won't be seeing Dixon anymore. What the hell? Why? I need alcohol, man. No. I'm going to die if I don't get a drink. It's funny you should mention it. You need to kick the habit, Bill. I can help you. The only way you can help me now is a load of detox chems. What do you need? At least a couple of doses of Fixer, a, a bottle of whiskey, and Radaway. I can take doses of Fixer and Radaway to gradually flush my system over time while drinking decreasing shots of diluted whiskey. This shit better be worth it, man. Well, right, regulating decreased, uh, decreasing doses of booze with a couple of shots of Fixer should do it. However, Bill and the rest of your friends need you. They need your help. Friendship is magic. Oh, Julie, I've really screwed things up. I'll head over to the fort and get some rest. This has gone on too long. Okay, so that's done. And since we're in the town, let's go and see the Garrets. Now, this, uh, where is it? Is it long-term care? Is long-term care actually? Oh, well, long-term care is obviously um, an unmarked quest. Well, long-term care, you can either go to Mick and Rouse, who say, you can go to the Crimson Crowdstone, who say, Ugh. and you can go to the Garrets, which are actually useful. Ooh, he's actually not out the back for once. Hey, James. I hear Benny got force-fed a little slice of heaven. Man, what I would have paid to see that loathsome little weasel eat it. Um, yeah, funny how you should mention that. Um, I could use some help with my... No, I don't actually need to do that. Although, <clears throat> that is one way of getting your reputation up with them. Um, followers need to find someone to trade for supplies. Really now? Well, this is news. We could possibly supply what they need, but they would need to supply us in kind. They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Pure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Dead quicker. Getting our customers drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Plus, the extra alcohol can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. I might be able to work something out. Good. We can supply them with all the med they need. For the fixer, we'll only be able to send over some basic drug components. We're not in the business of getting people off drugs, so we don't really dabble in that side of things. You're all hot. The followers should be able to whip some up with what we have available, though. They just need to agree to fix up our stills and keep them maintained, plus cover the cost for raw materials needed to make the alcohol. 
Okay, that's basically it. Right. Bye. Uh, I'm not going to talk with him anymore because I've got to come back and speak to him in a second. So, Julie, 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 Jules. Hey, good to see you. Um, help with the addiction problem that you mentioned. I saw them. Thank you so much for helping them. This means a lot to the followers of the apocalypse. You have our thanks. Do I have your cats? If you need some medical supplies, come see me. With Jacob working with us, we should be able to spare a stim or fixer once a day. That's perfectly a stim pack or fixer. And you can always just, if you've got fixer, you can always just give it back to her for extra points. And that, that was a good 600 points. Um, and I think I found someone who will be able to cover your supplies. That's phenomenal. Who did you find? Funnily enough, the Garrett twins. They supply Freeside with drugs and liquor. From my point of view, they're just better organized pushers. True. Upgrading their stills would increase their supply of liquor and chems. How does that help Freeside? Well, with the surplus of supplies, you could use your caps and influence to expand. Just need tech support and raw materials. Well, you'll get your chems and you can help anyone who gets addicted. True, we could help addicts, but the cycle of addiction, recovery and relapse would remain. True. Um, well, let's try this one. The surplus of supplies. Good point. We wouldn't be paying anything for their supplies, just a portion of our food waste to make ethanol. We get food from nearby wasteland farmers in exchange for medical services, so we could put our caps back into helping Freeside. Tell the Garretts we'll keep their stills running if they provide us with supplies. Thank you for arranging this. You've been a godsend. I have. Um, that's, that's fine, and now I need to go and, and speak to the This quest is exceptionally poorly designed. I've now got to go speak to the Garrett twins again. Through a load zone. Two. People are talking My mistake. You. Three load zones. Three. James Garrett. Hey, chum. Welcome back. Yep, yeah, they've uh, spoke with Julie Farkas. They say the followers will accept your offer. Hey, that's great. We'll get some supplies sent over today as a show of good faith. Once our stills are upgraded, we'll never be short on liquor for our patrons. If Jacob Hoff is sober, we might even have a few new drinks on tap. Most might view us as drug dealing enablers around here. But you are. But honestly, we care about our patrons. It's bad business for people to get addicted. We've got enough crime in Freeside without a bunch of strung out junkies robbing traders and gamblers to afford their next fix. Okay. Um, so, three load zones. I've got to go for three load zones more. But you know what? Whilst I'm here, I'm going to. Hang on. Do I have my naughty nightwear? That that is that is key. Naughty nightwear. There we go. Luck plus one. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna play blackjack for a bit. Oh, did I win something? Good day. Apparently not. Why am I over encumbered? Have I gained something? No, eh, maybe not. Try and your hand at blackjack. Again, I think I've got. Oh yeah, there we go. Those are my gifts. Dapper gambler hat. I'm not sure what else I've got from here. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, dapper gambler hat is not much. I can't remember what else they've given me. Ah, uh, yeah, I think the first level is just a whiskey that they gave me. So, yeah, no no harm, no foul. More black shack, please. And did I... Oh, I've got rum and nuka. Have Absinthe. a seat and give lady luck a chance. Dapper gambler suit. And I can still, I can still play. And there we go. Sorry, I've reached a jackpot limit, but feel free to explore other services here at the Atomic Wrangler. Wrangler? You know what? I'm now really encumbered, but you know what? You. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Looking to exchange? Give him a caps. I'd like to ex I'd like to turn him a chips. In what currency would you like your payout? Non-caps currencies will have fractions paid out in caps. Uh, pay me in caps, please? Caps it is. Will there be anything else? No. Goodbye. Yep. Okay, so that's about five. You know what? I'm going to go and sell some How's stuff, and then we're going to head back over to the, uh, the the fort through another three load zones to to get back there. In case you were wondering how much money I now have, that is uh, seventeen thousand eight hundred and seventy-two caps, which are just in my pocket. We're not even allowed to sell. Yeah, people yeah. Only at Mick and Ralph's. To the fort. Julie, Julie. Okay, Ju Hello. No, no, Julie. Not hey, you're not good important. to see you. Um, uh, Garrett should be sending supplies over shortly. I'm honestly pleasantly surprised they would help us out. But I can see the Garretts aren't doing this out of the goodness of their hearts. 
Well, it looks like you've earned yourself a discount on supplies now that we'll be fully covered. This supply deal will aid our work immensely. Okay, that's fine. I don't need to talk to you anymore. Goodbye. Where are you? You. Hi, Arcade. Hi. If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher. Not even a particularly good one. Um, why do you do research instead of providing medical assistance? Not all followers are people persons. Besides, someone needs to do research. I have no problem with Julie sticking me back here. Out of sight, out of mind. There are worse things one can be, though I do admit it is a bit boring. Though it has a noble goal, I don't think this research will yield much fruit. No pun intended. Um, why don't you come with me? No offense intended, but why should I go anywhere? I love you? the fact that he's 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 just okay with that. Um, things are bad around here. I'd like to make a difference, and I'd like you to help me. Hmm. That seems appropriately resolute and yet vague. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and go with you, but let me be clear about something. If you plan to help Caesar's Legion, this is going to be a brief relationship. Funny you should I may not that. have all the answers for how to fix Freeside's problems, but Caesar taking control isn't part of the solution. Fair? Fair enough. All right. Let's not waste any time. There are people out there to help. Things to learn. Maybe not in that order, but let's get to it. Okay, so we've just brought Arcade Ganon along with us. Um... I'm basically going around getting his uh, his his points today, and there is one place where it's very easy to uh, get points. And you know, he mentioned something about Caesar's Legion. Hey. Welcome to Cottonwood Cove. Now, I'm really debating if I should just let Anders down now or wait till. You know what? You can stay there until I complete the appropriate quest in like months or so, because that's how long it's probably going to take me in game. So yeah, uh, toodles, Anders. There we go, Cottonwood Cove. And now I just need to get to the dock, which is fine because these guys will no longer shoot me on sight. Not that they ever really did, to be fair. Um, yeah, just heading down the thing. Ooh, nice pretty torches and all the good shacks. Yes, I use the term good and shack in the, the same thing. Anyway, this is Cottonwood Cove. You still with me, Arcade? You're not shooting any. At least he's not Boone. Boone would shoot these guys on sight, which is difficult to come back from. Awe. Hi, Cursor Lucullus. Awe. Are you ready to head up river? Um, who are you? I am Cursor Lucullus, and my orders are to escort you to the Legion's camp at Fortification Hill. Are you ready to go? Uh, what will happen at the fort? You'll be meeting face to face with the mighty Kaisar himself, founder of the Legion, conqueror of 86 tribes. To my knowledge, this is the first time Kaisar has ever summoned one of the dissolute to see him. That it would be a woman is even more surprising. Yeah, they're not big on women in this case. Who are you calling dissolute? All who are not legion are dissolute. They live in squalor, unrestrained by morality, lacking moderation, temper, and self-control. Their very That's existence true. is a blight on the common good. Even worse are the profligates, the subtype of dissolute one finds this side of the river. They hold themselves to be civilized, when in fact they are corrupt and self-interested. We are corrupt and we are The truth will be made clear to them soon enough. What have I done to earn this honor? You'd know better than I would, but you must be remarkable for Kaisar to take such an interest. I am pretty remarkable, to be honest. Yeah, okay, let's go. The trip will take a few hours. Take your place on the boat. By order of Kaisar, all visitors must disarm and relinquish all banned items. You could have this order also the extends to, to the platinum chip you carry. For now. <coughs> okay. Um, right. So, what's considered a banned item? Alcohol and all chems, including stims and other addictive items. Oh, I have to can bring them up. Oh, my heart. It's it's not it's not good. It's just oh. I know not why Kaisar would wish to speak with such a physically inferior whelp, but I will allow this one exception. You may bear Kaisar's mark. But do not attempt to share any of your medicine with anyone in the fort. And that's just an extra 39 XP. Um, yeah, sure. Your belongings will be returned to you when you leave. I think my What's stuff's up? high enough to bring stuff out. So, okay, Ganon. Gonna have a chat? What's up? Uh, what's your opinion on the current situation? It could be better. If we can find a way to work toward the independence of New Vegas, that would be ideal. Uh, okay. But really... As long as you don't help out the Legion, anything's better than that. 
Okay, fine. Wait, wait, wait a second. What's going on? Am I playing Virgil to your Dante? Something like that. I'd like to assume that we're tiptoeing into the mouth of hell out of academic curiosity, but I'm not so open-minded that I've lost my brains. Your model's messing up around the mouth area. Um, let's just listen. Right, so this, right, this, hang on. That gets you one point. Hear him out. That gets you one point if you follow it up. This should get you two points. Let's just listen to him, figure out what he's up to, and get out. Short of cancelling our imminent travel plans, that's the best thing you could have said. Just be careful. If we travel at Caesar's pleasure, he may not let us out as easily as he lets us in. Yeah, your model is messed up right now. Like, super well done. And welcome to Legion HQ, with all the wonderful bones and skeletons. This is like Va Vlad the Impaler level stuff. Um, and then, you know, you've got people just some of the doing slaves stuff. Have been oh yeah, and you've got, you've got this guy. This is So you're the Dale. visitor I've heard some of the legionaries talking about. If you're in the mood to trade, just say the word. I don't actually think you've got anything have a look. good. Um, oh yeah, you're the, you're the cards guy. I'd forgotten about you. Um, gecko steak. Yay, hunting, hunting revolver, match barrel. I think I just got rid of the hunting revolver, didn't I? Hang on. I should have stole... Whatever I should have done, I should have sold Marie. Oh, no! The uh, mm. I might have the hunting revolver, but either, either way. Um, laser RCW recycler. Okay. Plasma rifle. This service rifle upgraded springs. I like the service rifle. But I'm going to get better guns very soon. Or at least I'm planning to. Primer, bar Primer box, shot serial? Uh. Anyway, um, ever met Kaiser? I haven't had the pleasure. I have crossed paths with Legate Lanius, his second in command, however. It was unpleasant. Okay, so bye. You've seen you around. Um, he's got some nice yeah. things there that I might have to come back for. But yes, lovely red filter against everything. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the burned man again. Ah, the Burning Man. That's going to come up sooner or later. And then this woman is just... Excuse me. It's just a slave. Basically, all women in this place are slaves. Um, carrying things around. This guy is... The veteran. Imagine a follower brave enough to leave Freeside. A follower brave enough to leave... Free oh, he's talking about Arcade. Oh, yeah. Arcade likes his people. Where are the teenagers? Like teenage kids usually running up and down here. Uh, okay, well, I'm going in. Oh. I'm harsh on the children, but they'll be excellent legionaries. I'm quite proud of them. Okay, but yeah, the legionary kids. On, uh, I think they might be taking a nap because it's in the middle of the night. That's fair, I suppose. Right. So yeah. Um, if you don't like being without a weapon, and I don't particularly. Ooh, electric grindstone. Oh, usually, okay. I'll do my best. There's usually no. Um, oh, there's usually like other things. There's usually like guns in these. Pretty sure of it. No, not much. Not worth stealing from them. I could have sworn there was like hunting rifles in here. Huh? Maybe I was wrong. Oh well. Okay, so yeah, let's just take a look. We've got slaves. Oh, hey, S hey, Siri. There it goes. Hey. <gasps> anyway. Um... A free woman. It's been a while since I've seen a woman who wasn't a slave. I forget myself. Are you injured? You're a doctor? I never finished my training. The Legion saw to that when they overran my town. I do know basic first aid, but I've had to rely on tribal remedies to treat illnesses and injuries, healing powders and all that. I'm always running low on Xanderud. Plenty of Brock flowers, though. Uh, okay, and I, if I had survival... For sale? I'm a slave, not a merchant. I could give you some healing powder every day, but you'd have to be a friend of the Legion. Okay, about the effectiveness of your healing powders? What about it? Do you have some advice? Uh, no. Apparently that's just the same thing. Okay, right, bye. 
Um, and so that's the healing, that's the mess tent, that's the... I guess they're trying to cook the Brahmin, maybe? I don't know. Alright, well, let's head on up to see the Kaiser himself, if I can remember my way around, which is unlikely. Oh yeah, there is this part to it. What do you want from me, woman? I'm in charge of the arena, not the cooking pots. I'd like to fight in the arena. Know your place, woman. Unlike the profligates of the NCR, only men fight in the Legion. Okay, you have a problem with women? Women are beneath notice, as Kaisar has taught us. I'm only allowing you to speak to me because you are Kaisar's guest. And I'd kick you I off. may yet, if Kaisar commands it. Okay, toodles. Go right, fine. Didn't want to fight anyway. Fighting's boring. And, yep. You must enter Kaisar's tent alone. Anyone else must remain outside. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Right, that's fine. You must enter Kaisar's tent. Oh, oh, okay, right, fine. Uh, arcade. Just, uh, just, uh, wait here. Okay. Just don't be gone long. I won't be gone long. Okie dokie. Hello, everybody. I'm here. I'm a woman in... Oh. Probably not doing myself a good service there. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's, it's fine. There we go. I feel better now. Oh, right. Hello. Hi, Kaiser. You're the courier who caused so much trouble for my legion. And yet you dare come before me. The garrison I established at Nelson has been wiped out. Yes. Years of meticulous scheming to place a mole at Camp McCarran. Wasted. Yes. So tell me this. Because I really want to know. I am feared with good reason. But you, of all people, dare to come here and stand before me, the mighty Kaisar. What were you thinking? Um, death to tyrants. I had to see the mighty Kaisar with my own eyes. Maybe I should have you struck blind so my face is the last sight you ever behold. Look, you do know why I wanted to meet you, right? A man nearly kills you, so you track him across the breadth of the Mojave. You arrive on the strip and waltz into the Lucky 38 like someone left you a key under the doormat. kind of did. You assassinate the head of the chairman in his own casino and get away with it. Then something happens to Mr. House's robot, some kind of military upgrade. That wasn't me. When you me. set your mind to something, you get results. Sort of. I like that. The question is, are you ready to get started? Uh, st Started for what? What were you looking to start? How do you know so much about what were you looking to start? The time is fast approaching when my legion will assault the Great Dam and invade the West. Try. Try Before to. that happens, I want Mr. House knocked out of the game. A quick one-two punch with you doing the punching. Um, what would you have, what would I have to Down do? Down the hill at the west edge of camp is an old building. It was here when the fort was taken in 2277. Inside the building is a hatch. And inside that hatch are two steel doors that bear the sigil of the Lucky 38 Casino. Now that same sigil is on the platinum chip you were carrying. Isn't that interesting? Mm, Even yeah, more interesting, interesting, there's a slot about the same size as the chip on the console that opens the hatch. So you know what I think? I think the platinum chip opens those doors. Doors that can't be pried open or drilled open or blasted open. Because all that, I tried. Why on earth would you send me, somebody who's been working with House, with the NCR, to, to, to go down into a bunker that you think I want to go down? But, um, and once I'm inside? I want you to destroy whatever you find in there. And then I want you to come back here and tell me about it. So go to the building and take this fucking platinum chip with you. My legionaries will meet you there with your weapons and equipment. Goodbye. Okay, toodles. What a load of Brahmin shit. Can you believe that guy? Um, I don't think either of us fully understand what he and the tribes have gone through. A fair point. But from the perspective of someone west of the Colorado, the man is clearly out of his mind. That's not what you Maybe said! Maybe he didn't intend for things to wind up this way. But that doesn't mean he needs to perpetuate this bizarre anachronistic myth. 
And it doesn't mean that we should sit by and nod our heads at every absurd faux Roman casus belli he can dream up. He's a tyrant, the bad kind, and there's no way we're letting him take Hoover Dam. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the burned man again. Damn slaves, what are you gonna do about them? And here we go. Hello. We can go in. And Kaisar has go. permitted your weapons to be returned to you while you serve him. It's about time. Hand him over. Kaisar has put a lot of trust in you. Be worth it. Okay. So now we're gonna. Have I got. Oh, Ka Arcade's not with me. That's fine. Activate the console. Insert the platinum ship into the slot. And yes. That. The, the week. The weak opening of the, the, the thing. And books, and let's go to the Securitron vault. Alright, yes, rads hit. You know what, there are actual, um, a significant amount of rads in this area. So I am actually going to take me some radix. Um, ah, Mr. House. Stop wasting time. Go upload the data on the platinum chip to the facility's primary computer. Okay. I will do that. Commencing um, attack on hostile target. Violence will not be. Okay, let's. Uh, I'd forgotten about the. Uh, uh, let's just go for the right. Tolerated. Vault oh, status terminal. What's this? Uh, turret status active. Protection status active. Sentry bot status standby. Status log. Radiation leak. Maintenance bot. Power search detected. Maintenance bot non responsive. Uh, moving to security alert to level one. Ah, huh, funny that we should mention it. Um, the, the game crashed um, in when I was in that computer. It's actually the first proper crash um, in a game that is really notorious for being buggy and crap. So, um, yeah, I'm going to stealth and I should probably put in weapon and I'm going to take the hunting rifle. Um... Yeah, Mr. House is going to talk to Mr. Stop House again. Stop wasting time. Go upload the data on the platform chip to the is. facility's primary computer. There. Protectron. Attention. This is now a combat zone. You there we go. Nice Protectron down. Um, reload. Oh, apparently I already have. It's fine. I cannot remember where I'm going, to be honest. So, ooh, we'll take the energy cells, though. And then plasma rifle. It's always worth it. And then get all the ammunition. And of course, my rads are ticking up right now. Empty. This one is... Pack. No. This one. No. Okay. So, not a lot here. Sentry bot operations terminals. Null. Okay, that's fine. And then... Protection operations terminal. Turrets. Oh, I can do the turrets, apparently. There we go. And let's uh, cancel the security alert. Turrets reverting to standby mode. Turrets are way more annoying, so I, I'd rather get out those out. What is my um, science at, actually? Thinking about it. Um, skills. Science is at 60. I, hang on. Hang on. Do I have... Items that will increase my my science don't actually. No. Okay, so I'm gonna have to take out the uh, sentry bots. That's fine. That's not well, not the sentry bots. Maybe I might be able to get a wave with the sentry bots. Okay, the protectrons are up and about somewhere. door is activated elsewhere. Uh, junction box could be rewired to override the security door controls, disconnecting it from the automated security system and opening the door. Okay. Right. Um, let's check. What's my repair at? No. But I think I actually have repair items. Um, da -da 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 -da. Ah, no. What? Why is my brain not working today? Okay, so I can't open that. 
and then I think hostile target detected. Oh god. <laughs> this is a lawful use of deadly force. It's a lawful Please use of deadly the... nothing. Okay, protectrons are no problem. I am sure that there is a sentry bot somewhere which could be Oh god, that's so creepy. That all of those guys are not there. I am going to hit rad level sooner or later. I think sooner rather than later. Um, but at least the turrets are offline. The turrets are a pain in the ass. They shoot faster than protectrons do. And... Yeah, there's someone going to be in here. Commencing lawful use of deadly force. Oh, you're Continued resistance is unlawful. Okay, so that's not too bad. There are some more about... But now I've got... Now I see if I can... Are they in this room? Oh, you're there. Okay, I think that one's dead. What's going on here? I think this is where I need to go. Examine the power... Leg if the bunker's power regulators are destroyed, its reactor core will overload in a matter of seconds with catastrophic results. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I, I want to... I, wa I want to live... Search Miss Tandy, flame of fuel. Please step into the open and identify yourself. Law abiding citizens have nothing to fear. Engaging hostile target. Ah, go away! Okay, I do not want to fight a sentry bot. I just don't. Okay, so you need to kill both of those for things to work. And there's an. I now have radiation poisoning. If you visit a doctor or take rad away to lower your radiation level. You can also protect yourself ahead of time by taking radix. I did. I took two of them. Okay, so um, that's fine. Um, I'm now going to take some rad away. And some more radix. And take out this last guy. Please stand clear. No, I'm good actually, believe it or not. Okay. I don't want the sentry bots. I don't want the sentry bots. I know there are sentry bots here. I know it. I'm terrified of this bit. I think I might just run for it, to be honest. Okay, what's the loot? Nothing here. What's... Oh. Uh, I'm going to run for it. Put Insert the platinum chip. Now I could look at everything. Now they've got the things and now I'm running for it. I'm running for it. I, I, uh, I don't know if it's only if the bunker is destroyed that they come out. And I think if you do it this way, you're okay. But yes, all the, the, all the house robots, if you look at the thing, they, they all have the, the army face on them. So, I know there are Securitrons. I know there are. I don't want to be here right now. But we're getting out. We are getting out. And then the army is activated. And we are out of here. Ooh. Okay. We're done. Okay, so I think the sentry bots are only if you destroy the bunker. You've carried out Kaisar's will. But I must confiscate your equipment again. Sure. You're free to leave. Okay, now I get outside. And hopefully Arcade is out there waiting for me. Seriously, where's Arcade? Did you send him home? Did you kidnap him? Can't say I blame you. He is very attractive, sort of. Not really. Ah, oh, there's Arcade. Hi, Arcade. Um, have you got anything to say now? What's up? I don't know. What's she... No. No, apparently you don't have anything to say. I'm going inside again. Just just wait there. Our way. True to Kaisar. Our way, true to Kaisar. Hello. I felt the ground shake a while ago. I'll take that as a sign you've got the job done. You can take it as a sign as Let's whatever you like. Let's press on, shall we? As I was telling you before, I want Mr. House out of the picture. You have an interest in his death, too. If he knows that you destroyed his gadgets beneath the fort, he will strike back. 
You know where to find him. How he dies, I leave up to you. So yes, you can destroy the bunker, but Kaiser thinks you destroyed it anyway. Um, so we might as well just... If you upgrade the robots, then he thinks you've just done it anyway. So yeah. Um, I'm done working for you. What is the machine in your tent? It's called an auto dock. As the name suggests, it's an automated physician, more or less. He can treat broken bones, cuts, punctures, scrapes. Sometimes I bestow its use upon someone I favor. Makes for a powerful gift in a culture that forbids painkillers and is largely ignorant of medical science. Yeah, but that's your fault. I have some questions to ask. What did you want to know? Um, are your bodyguards special in any way? My Praetorians <clears throat> embody the martial ideals of my legion. Each one of them has done enough conquering and killing to deserve the rank of Centurion. Instead, I invited them to join my guard. So the invitee chooses whichever current guard he thinks is weakest and challenges him. The fight is to the death. It keeps them from getting complacent. And how long has Lucius been the head of your Praetorians? Lucius has been the head of my guard for five years now. He was a subordinate guard for eight before that. No invitee has dared to challenge him yet. Maybe it's an issue of respect. He is getting on in years. Uh, let's talk about something else. Uh, tell me about Volpes. Volpes is the best of my frumentari. A remarkable individual from an unremarkable tribe south of the Utah. He was brought into the Legion as a boy, survived training, fought well enough as a legionary to be promoted to the rank of Decanus. Then in battle against an unimportant tribe, he broke ranks and led his contubernium through a hole in their defenses to capture its chieftain. Well, his Centurion wanted him crucified for disobedience, so I made him a frumentari. And what do they do? Whatever I require, infiltration, assassination, Dramatic atrocities to break the spirit of the enemy, etc. They're mentally flexible. They operate behind enemy lines for extended periods, imitating the enemy's customs without becoming sullied. In all these things, Wolpus is a master. Okay, anything else? Um, I've heard rumors of your legate Lanius. What's his story? Lanius is the greatest of my battlefield commanders. Some might call him a great man, but I'm not sure he qualifies. Once, he was the greatest warrior of the Hydebarks, a tribe of the Arizona. Maniacal in battle. Sometimes he'd ambush Legion patrols by himself. When after several months we found and surrounded the Hydebarks camp, their chieftain raised a banner of surrender. The warrior, who was not yet Linnaeus, went insane with rage. He struck down his chieftain and attacked his own tribe. And what happened then? He killed 15 before they brought him down. He didn't die, obviously. I had him tended to. He was maimed, most of his face torn off. It was days before he regained consciousness. When he did, I went to his bedside and showed him the helmet I'd had forged to cover his face. I said he could have it if he'd fight for me. He accepted, on condition that he be allowed to kill the surviving males of his tribe. I said, make it the adult males, and you have a deal. Sounds more like a savage than a general. The Neus is savage. Savagely loyal, too, but only to me. He has no love for my legion. But this has its uses. He has no attachment to his men, no compunction about battlefield losses. All he cares about is destroying the enemy. When another Legatus or a Centurion fails to achieve results, I send Lanius to make things right. His first step is to beat the failed commander to death in front of his assembled troops. Then he orders the ritual of Decimatio. And I know what that answer is. So, uh, yeah, let's... let's. You know what? I know... I, um... I could go through this. Let's see, why is Caesar's Legion? Caesar's Legion. Um, okay. Um, that's, uh, that's enough questions for now. What else then? You know what? I'll eliminate Mr. House for Good. you. Good. Don't know what kind of security he has inside the Lucky 38, but if you can find a way of catching him off guard, do so. 
And level 17. Okay, so science needs to hit 65, so I can just buff it up to... I can buff it up to very hard. Um, guns. Keep pushing guns up. Medicine needs to go up, and so just repair. Repair probably first. And two skill points go into energy weapons. Done. Okay, let's get Arcade and let's head home. All right, Arcade, I've gonna, I'm gonna ask you to do something. I, I think we need to. What's uh, up? Uh, he's uh, four out of five points, but I want him to put him in a safe place where I can just get him whenever I need to. So um, I want time for us to part oh, I ways. I thought my charm could win you over, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. You sure you want me to go? Um, I'd like you to go back to the Lucky 38. Ah, back to the tomb, I suppose. If you need me, etc. Okay, and there goes Arcade. So, I'm going to call that an episode there, back where I started. I've been Zombie Cleo. This has been Fallout New Vegas. Class dismissed. <laughs>